Hey Tommy, welcome back to Gossip Cafe. My name is Kay. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, Sadi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence once again. Your love and your presence is highly appreciated over here. Tommy, we've got a couple of topics to discuss on this video and um, I hope you've got your own drinks. Drink next to you. Um, like bourgeois, some coffee, some tea, some popcorns or whatever like that because it's about to hit up here. It's about to go down, honey. So let's hit it. Where is she being, Serena? And who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. So guys, as I said, a couple of topics and uh, without wasting any more time, let's jump into the first topic. We are talking about Gigi Lamain. Gigi Lamain is a hip hop artist who is so underrated in South Africa at the moment or she is becoming more and more mainstream now but she was so underrated for a couple of years already so she is partnering with um, with rock and core footwear um, she is dropping her own footwear line or her own shoe line I'm so happy for her because she is definitely deserving these flowers. Finally, the, the, the companies are definitely recognizing her. Maybe there's something more that's coming for her. Congratulations, Gigi Lamaine. Congratulations, black woman. Congratulations. Keep on flourishing. I love you so much. So let's move on to another topic that's that needs to be discussed. Amanda Dupo. Amanda Dupo has finally, allegedly, has finally came out and um, confirmed that she is no longer with her ex-husband. They have parted ways. Classy, like you're doing it classy. You part it. You part ways with your ex. Because it doesn't work anymore. I hope Mbali and Mbali something like that. She is listening. Okay, you do it classy. You don't do it yete yete like yete yete. But anyway, I'm not judging. Like, <laughs> don't call me a judge. But anyway, um, Amanda Dubon is currently dating a millionaire from Limpopo. So I have no idea what is going on with South African celebrities when it comes to their marriages. They, they get married with these men sometimes. These men are not that rich and they get married to them and then after that they get dumped or the relationship is um, finished, the marriage is finished and stuff like that and the next thing they move on to the next person who is a millionaire so that they can be pampered and stuff like that because when was the last time you saw Amanda Dupo doing anything on TV? Like, is she even an actress? Do we call her an actress now? Because I don't think she is an actress anymore. Like, we haven't seen her in a long time other than her posing with Halloween costumes and stuff like that. But anyway, um, let's move right along. I hope and pray that she is happy now. I hope she is having fun with he, with her multi-million dollar husband or boyfriend or whatever. Moving right along to Entlembali. Entlemlojwa, Entlembali, I do not know at this point of time. And by the way, is Entle the name and Mbali the name or the same name? What is going on? Because I always get it wrong with Angel and Bali. Sometimes I say Bali Angel, sometimes I say Angel and Bali. Mlodwa, and who is Mlodwa? Is it Black Coffee? Maybe it is Black Coffee Child. I don't know. It's confusing. South African celebrities are just confusing. Apparently, U Sisters has dumped her boyfriend, her recent boyfriend. I don't know how many boyfriends she had after she. She divorced Black Coffee. I do not know. But at the moment, their boyfriend, apparently it was a millionaire, was a millionaire boyfriend. Um, and his name is P is Peter Sibiluane, Sibiluane or Sibiluane, something like that. But he is a, he was a millionaire. Apparently, Angel Bali dumped this guy because this guy had financial issues. This guy apparently moved back to um, some back room in 
Brits somewhere like honestly I feel like sometimes South African celebrities when you divorce or doing anything like that or dumping your boyfriend or you get dumped this revenge falling in love with millionaires it just doesn't work and I've seen it so many times I feel like and Mali as well was doing the same. This is a revenge boyfriend, revenge something. You just want to, 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 to date someone who is so wealthy that your ex-husband or your ex-boyfriend might be jealous of you or something like that. But Jong Angok, the boyfriend is back in Brits or something like that? In the back at the back room or something? I do not know. But anyway, sisters, do you honey? I don't know. Um, I mean, you've got a, an acting career, you can just pursue your acting career and um, just have those moments whereby we are pure, like Kodum Dokpai, or maybe you were in love with Silo or whoever, Peter, this guy, the ex-millionaire, allegedly. Yo, I about. So anyway, let's move right along to my next topic. So Donald, the singer. I don't know how to sing, but anyway, Donald is coming back. If you loved those nice and soothing music from Donald, so guy is coming back. He will be dropping his EP. I cannot wait to listen to his EP because Donald has um he gave us good music in South Africa. He gave us good vocals in South Africa. The vibrato, the falsettos, all of it. Like he gave us everything. But anyway, I would like to ask Donald. There was a guy who was who was very trending somewhere somehow. I think it was last year or this year or something like that. Trending on TikTok. That guy was saying Donald is owing him something something. Because Donald apparently took that guy and then they went to the studio and they recorded a song and Donald didn't pay. Donald, did you pay the money, Ausi? Did you pay the money? Because you cannot be dropping the EPs here and then you're still owing people. Are you dinero ranaka ngu ranaka. You don't pay people because you are a celebrity. Ah pay, pay it, pay. Anyway, let's move. Right along. So to the book lovers, Uman Pise was set to drop a book recently. Apparently, I don't know. Like I don't know because who? Um, definitely, if you would like maybe to um, to listen to Uman Pise's story on how he she achieved um, the 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 millions that she has right now, or whatever she got the millions or whatever. I don't know. I'm I'm just not interested. I love Uman Pise, but I'm just not interested in in um, her book or something like that but anyway she currently um, apparently she moved back the launching of her book because she's busy with other things maybe she's busy with doing her, jo her book job or whatever a light section I don't know what there's too many things that are happening in South Africa these book, these book jobs and nose and like for sections and BBL. Hey, so she cannot drop the book now. The closed source says that there's more, there's um, other things that were happening behind the scenes. Apparently, the book was turned back. Um, she was not happy with the quality of the book. You know, Mom Kizze likes expensive stuff. So um, she just said, no, it doesn't look right. I want it back. I want it sophisticated. I want it to look like money. Like, we don't read money in the book, Mom Kizze. We read Amagama. Unless Amagama are written in gold and rubies and whatever. And diamonds and Yazwe too. But... Anyway, I, I, I think she wants the book to look very pre presentable. She, I mean, she's a very wealthy woman and the book should say that it is from a wealthy person. So definitely if it was the case that you didn't like how the, look, the book looked, take it back. But um, my question is, didn't you choose the samples or something like that? What were you doing? Like ISIS, you've got the capacity and manpower and money to do so so make it make sense 
make it make sense anyway this is the last uh, my topic that i had for you today so i hope and pray that you will subscribe if you are new here and you will come back for more thank you so much for watching till this far i love you so much please catch me on my next video mm -hmm.